Joining us here on the program from Maine Adaptive Sports and Recreation, uh, we have got Barbara Snyder, who is the executive director, and also Luke Alaco. Did I get that right? You did. Oh, well done. awesome, nice awesome. And he is a volunteer, a proud volunteer, and also a parent of uh, a child in the program, and also Toby Burdett. Did I get everyone's right? You did. Wow, Good look job, at that. Right? We are on it. The welcome to all of you Thank this you morning. Friend. Thank you. And you wore name tags still a lot. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for being here, the three of you. Thank and you. this is uh, an exciting time for you. You've got some, some different activities going on, and perhaps you can give us a little overview of what's going on. Well, this weekend we have our regular program, and Toby can talk a little bit about how that's going. Mm -hmm. We are here every Saturday and Sunday and some Fridays. Mm -hmm. But starting Sunday night, we have our annual festival for people who are blind and visually impaired that we call Nebby Fest. Mm -hmm. And they come in tonight, and we do our opening pizza party and banquet down at the Rack, mm -hmm. and then we have three days of On Snow um, activities for them uh, and evening activities every day and we have about 20 participants coming in from all over the country um, but a lot from from New England that's great now this is an annual event yes this is our eighth annual eighth one yeah. fest, seventh or eighth somewhere in that range yeah yeah, yeah. for those of you keeping track yeah, but exactly. yeah, nonetheless it's it's grown uh, you've got 20 people that's great yeah yeah it's excellent and uh, tell us a little bit about what you do. You are a volunteer, a hardworking volunteer, as I understand. I tell am. Us a little bit I don't know about, hard, do. I don't know about hard, hard working. It's all I'll fun, but um, credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm a I'm a regular volunteer m most every Saturday for the for the main adaptive program itself, and I've been here at Nevy Fest for four, maybe five, with with um, with my son Ben, who's now ten. He was great. very young when we first started. I have a great time. I don't volunteer with him. Because if I did, that would not go well. <laughs> but uh, he's in other capable hands. And, uh, yeah, I have truly enjoyed the experience that I've had helping to teach, helping to give confidence to people of all ages with other visual impairments. Right. Yeah. So uh, tell us a little bit about um, you have some volunteers that will take these people out so that they can enjoy them out. Tell us a little bit about what they do, and it's an awesome responsibility. Sure. So Maine Adaptive's mission is to provide opportunities for outdoor recreation for people with disabilities. So in the winter, both at Sugarloaf and Sunday River, we provide programming and we have a host of adaptive equipment that people can use, whether it's a sit ski that has one ski underneath it, a mono ski, a sit ski that has two skis underneath it, a bi ski, a slider, which is a kind of light, fancy walker that you can ski with. Um, so Whatever a person's disability is, we adapt the instruction techniques for skiing. Um, so for the Blind and Visually Impaired Festival, what we do is use a lot of radios. We teach volunteers understand how to communicate mm -hmm. using radios or signals. Um, and they work with their participants to develop the right communication strategies for them. Um, and, you know, work on snow. It, it, it's, it's amazing. I started blind guiding a little bit last year, mm -hmm. um, and it's really fun. It really requires you as the volunteer to think very strategically about how you're going to communicate the commands in a way that the student's going to appreciate them most. Absolutely. Wow. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you read the terrain very differently, too, because you really have to learn how to set things up so that, you know, the skier is maximizing the fall line. And so you, you can really start to figure out where someone is going to end up in a certain turn if you set it up in a certain way. So it's very strategic. It's very cerebral and interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. And the equipment sounds very interesting, too. It sounds very expensive, as I, I think we've talked about before. Maybe you can talk a little bit about some of the equipment. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, a lot of the sit-down equipment is very expensive. It, I mean, a minimum of $5,000 per unit. Um, so, you know, that stuff gets very expensive. A lot of the stuff that we use for um, Nevi Fest and for blind guiding is a little bit less involved, but we use... Um, radios made by Cardo that are designed for motorcyclists to go bike to bike. Yeah. Um, so we use those on our helmets and um, so those have been a really nice um, step up in technology. The battery life is way better, they're way more comfortable. Um, so those are really important tools and also with a lot of the um, 
folks that we have coming this week for Nevi Fest, a lot of them are never ever skiers. We get a big group every year from the Perkins School for the Blind down in Boston. Mm. And the majority of the students they bring are never evers. They've never been on snow before. So we spend wow. a lot of time on the landing. Um, you know, we were, you'll see us out there in teams often with two instructors on a bamboo pole, or we might have somebody um, harnessed with a tether to help them uh, with their speed control while they're learning how to turn the skis and create the turn shape to to uh, create their own turn. And What's it like to be there when you've empowered someone to ski? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, that really, that's why, why we're all here, because it's just phenomenal to have that, um, see somebody realize how much they're capable of doing and, you know, see them come in with that trepidation and that nervousness and see, you know, so many people just relax and really get to enjoy it and that feeling of being outdoors that we all love with the wind in our face is just amazing. That's great. Hey, stay with us. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and we'll talk more about uh, the organization and some of the great things that you do and how you may be able to help as well. We'll be right back in just a moment.